Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating another hematite Dipco Manny using some dips from the upcoming Atlantica Volume 1 release, which is today, Friday, May 5th. So you can catch all of these dips uh, that I have here, plus seven more <laughs> are part of the collection. At the end here, I'll post another Manny I did using some other colors from this collection earlier uh, in April. So this is Thingamabob which is this gorgeous shimmery teal color. Then I have Hey Sailor, which is a, not really chunky, I'd say like a medium glitter, and it has a whole bunch of different colors in it, including like that teal color, uh, some green. I see some purples, blues, a lot of different shifting colors here. And then the namesake to the collection, which is Atlantica, and this is like a really, really light blue, like almost crystally blue color. And it has some fine shimmery glitters in it and some like larger uh, glitters as well. And then I'm going to be using this cute uh, seahorse water slide decal. I got this in like a random pack of decals I purchased, I think, on um, like a buy, sell, trade dip page. And I was sent these with the dips. So somebody bought them and then sent these to me. And I have another sheet with different designs on it as well. Um, let me see what the company is. It is Poshy Nail Designs is where it's from. So I thought that that would be really uh, fun to use with these colors. So I'm going to do that when the mani is all wrapped up at the end. So we can start and get dipping here. I'm going to start with thingamabob. So let me just get that prepped. And as always, I'm using my gel method liquids here by Vivid Glam Co. So I'm gonna start out with my base gel and do the pour over. All right, so I'm going to start into thingamabob here, as I just mentioned. So I'm going to do thingamabob on my ring finger. Put a thin layer of that down. And then just pour this over. And uh, when this is curing, I'm gonna do some chit chat story time for you guys. Let me just get this cleaned up. And then I'm actually going to do this also on my index finger. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. Okay, so I can do that now and then I'll cure the two fingers. So what I want to tell you guys about is um, my last video that, or not my last video, but my second to last video that I put up um, a week ago today. So uh, what am I saying? No, never mind. It was on the 29th because it was on my birthday. It was the cheetah print mani that I did. I filmed it on <laughs> the 28th, but I put the YouTube video up on the 29th. So that's why I got confused. Sorry about that. Um, I had mentioned that I had a sneaky suspicion that my husband and my daughter were planning something for my birthday since it was my 40th and I didn't know like what it was or like what extent, you know, of people that were going to be there or anything. So, um, all I knew is that on Saturday I had to be ready to go like dressed and everything by, I think it was like 420 ish. So I got ready. I had gotten a dress the day before because I wasn't sure what to wear. So my husband went with me. I picked out a dress, which wasn't, you know, anything fancy, but something I knew that was okay enough for wherever we were going, whatever we were doing. So he brings me to a restaurant that's about 10 minutes from our house. And the whole time there, my daughter was like, you got to close your eyes. You got to close your eyes. And I'm like, I'm not going to close my eyes in the car because I'm not like... I don't like not having my senses <laughs> um, like impaired. So I didn't want to close my eyes in the car. So she's like, all right, well, when we get there, you have to close your eyes. I'm like, okay. So we were walking in. She's like, yeah. And I was wearing like big wedge shoes. She's like, you got to close your eyes now. So as we got into the door for the restaurant, my daughter like took my hands and she's like, okay, you really have to close your eyes now. 
So I closed my eyes and I was led into this room that had 26 of, uh, you know, close family and friends that live in the area. And then one of my friends who I haven't seen in a little while, I'd say probably like four years or so. Um, she lives about three hours northwest of us and she came down. So I was really shocked to see her, especially because she texted me earlier in the day and she was like, happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> and I sent her back. Oh, thank you so much. I miss you. I love you. And like, she was like, same here. <laughs> so not realizing that she was like in this area because she was coming to my uh, birthday party dinner, uh, surprise. So I was really shocked about that. And just, you know, everybody who came out, um, I was really, you know, just shocked about the whole thing. In the parking lot, I did notice two cars and I figured that if anything was going on, um, you know, like family that lived here would be at the party. So like my mom, my aunt, my uncle, uh, my in-laws, and those are the cars that I recognize, but I didn't recognize like anybody else's cars because I, did, I wasn't like really paying attention, I guess, in the parking lot. So that was a really nice surprise. It was like, you know, about three hours long, like a dinner party type thing. And it was nice catching up with people I hadn't seen in a while that uh, were there. So that was my birthday surprise. <laughs> and as I've been talking, I did, as you saw, another um, application of thingamabob. And now I am curing for 90 seconds in my UV lamp. All right, so these are cured. I'm going to just dust them off here. I like to use my glitter brush when I'm doing like any shimmery type color as well, just because it's, you know, not as susceptible to spread between the colors that I'm using. So that's why I just use that brush instead of like a solid brush. All right, so that is done. I just put that back into the container gonna clean this out and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to do Hey Sailor, not Hey Sailor, Atlantica on my thumb and my pinky, which again is this gorgeous, very subtle glitter. Like I said, I'm trying to switch it up a bit. So that's what I'm doing on my pinky and my thumb. I go in with some gel for that. I just wish the weather would have been a little bit nicer on my birthday. It wasn't bad because like we weren't outside or anything. It's just, it was raining. It was like in the low fifties. Not whether I want to, you know, have when my birthday is April 29th. I, I would hope that it would be a little bit warmer, but you can't help mother nature, right? <laughs> so we dealt with it, but that's okay. Okay. It's gorgeous too. Love that. I love all of the colors in this collection. I was just saying to the other ambassadors today in a group chat that we have on Instagram that this is by far my favorite collection since I've been an ambassador with hematite that has come out. By far. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that under the lamp for 60 seconds and then I'll do another dip. And I was just thinking as this was underneath the lamp, I got so much vodka for my birthday. <laughs> I got four bottles of vodka. I don't know if that's like the 40th year liquor. I don't know. <laughs> but I got a lot of vodka. That's fine because we do have a bar downstairs in our family room. So... I am now well stocked for the upcoming summer season with loads of vodka. So for anybody that comes over and we do barbecues or whatnot, um, I'll be ready <laughs> with some liquor. Make some nice mixed drinks. I love making drinks. That's like one of my other hobbies. One of the vodkas that I got was actually double chocolate vodka. And I had made a while back a duplicate of a drink that my husband and I had a couple of summers ago. We went to Universal Studios in Florida, in Orlando, and there's a restaurant there called Toothsome's Emporium, and it's kind of like a steampunky type restaurant, 
and it has like a candy shop and a soda fountain in the front and then in the back is the actual restaurant where you can sit down. So we had lunch there, me, my husband and my daughter and my husband and I saw these drinks on the menu and they were double chocolate cherry mules, I think is what it was called. So like a Moscow mule, but with chocolate vodka and cherry and then they put like chocolate bitters in it. So I think it was like maybe around this time last year, I said to him, I want to recreate this drink at home here. So I had the Moscow Mule mugs and I looked up a, you know, a way to do it and what kind of vodka to use. And that's one of the vodkas that I actually got for my birthday was the double chocolate vodka. So um, I'm going to be making those again. <laughs> um, it's basically the double chocolate vodka ginger beer or ginger ale whichever you want to use um chocolate bitters which i actually got a while back when i started making them at on amazon it's like a little dropper uh bottle and then really high end like cocktail cherries like the dark cherries oh my gosh and then you shave some white chocolate on the top if that's you know your preference that's how the restaurants serve them so that's what we always do when we have them they are so good it's such a good like dessert drink to have after dinner. I mean, I can drink it, you know, anytime, but it's really nice as a dessert drink. So on my middle finger, I'm going to do Hey Sailor. And that is that gorgeous chunkier glitter here that I showed you in the beginning. So let me just get myself prepped here and then we'll get started on that. I actually swatched the majority of this collection on Instagram back in the beginning of April, I believe. Um, just to, you know, showcase it. I have every color but one. So I was only able to swatch nine out of the 10 colors, but that's fine. It, they came out really lovely and that's why I have these swatches here. I just have to label them, which I'm terrible at remembering to do whenever I do swatches. <laughs> so this just like always is going to be just that clear um, layer of the glitter and then I'll pick more up after I do my uh, dip into it after I cure it. So I'm just going to cure this for 60 seconds and then I'll be back to do another layer. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some more gel down and get to getting more of that glitter on my nail. And there we go. That is what I was looking for. Just clean up my cuticle line here. That's so gorgeous. I love this color. All right, I might actually do a third. I'm not sure yet. I have to wait and see how it cures. So I'm gonna cure it again for 60 seconds. All right, I think I'm actually just, oops, going to leave it like that because I don't wanna make it too thick and then have to file a lot off. So what I'm going to do now is file, buff, and then I'm going to come back and do the water slide application. Stay tuned. Okay, we are back. So this is how we're looking after filing, buffing, and activating. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the water slide decal. I got new tweezers, so I'm very excited to use these. I actually found them on Amazon, so I'll put the link down below. But I think I mentioned that I wanted to get tweezers that were a little more uh, curved and that had sharpness to them because it'll be easier to pick up the decals from the water when I put them in there. So I'm going to cut out, I think I'm going to, I know I definitely am going to do it on my ring finger. I'm just trying to measure out here how it'll look. If I have to put it on an angle, then so be it. But I'm not going to put the whole thing on my finger. I'm actually going to use these little black lines here to cut out kind of like the outline of what I'm going to use. So I do want to get some of that like paint splatter look on the back too. So I like that. Okay. I'm just going to cut that out like so. All right. So this is what I have. I'm going to put that in the water for a couple of seconds. I always want to say a couple of minutes, but that's not right. <laughs> All right. Then I'm also going to put on my sticky base coat from Maniology. So I have a sticky surface to lay that decal on. Just 
just coating that entire nail here. All right, this is take two because the first one ripped. I don't know if it was because it was a little too big for my finger, but I cut this out a little bit smaller. I'm going to put it back in, cleaned up what I had on with my file and buffer. And now I'm going to go ahead and do another layer of the sticky base. And I think I have to put this on a bit of an angle. So that's what I'm going to do once I get it out of the water here. Just gonna take that out again. Came off the backing, that's okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him down like at an angle, like this, to get a better coverage of the decal on the nail. There we go. Cause I don't wanna futz around with it too much. Cause like I said, the first one did rip cause I was futzing with it. So just going to try and just File that little corner off here ever so gently. All right, there we go. That is the little seahorse decal. So I'm going to go ahead now and top everything with my base gel, then my top gel for the final look here. And we'll be back to apply some cuticle oil. All right, we are all set here. This is the final look. I'm really pleased with the way this came out. Again, this is from the Hematite Dipco Atlantica Volume 1 collection, which is releasing today, Friday, May 5th. She is also running a sale all week where no code is needed on the website, and there, everything there is 35% off, easy for me to say. That's at hematitedipco.com. And other days, if you'd like to go shopping, when she's not having a sale, you can use my code, which is Lauren15 to save 15% on your order. Uh, but that's a really good sale that she's having this weekend. And she also has some trios that she's pairing up together that are $15 each. So you can check that out on the website. And I hope you enjoyed this, Manny. I really enjoyed creating it. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Thank <laughs> you.